In this video, we're going to go over the new baked in materials inside Plasticity. If you come over to your assets now, you can see on the bottom of your left hand side here, you can see that there are a lot of brand new materials in here and the corresponding materials that go with them. So let's go ahead and dollop our ship here. So as before, up here is all your used materials. This is all the stuff that you put together or you selected down here and adjusted, named, whatnot. So I've got the glass material here. If I right click, select all with this material, I can go ahead and select all the glass material and then hit H. I can hide them. So let's go inside here and we can adjust some materials inside here. So uh, select the chair there. I am going to make, there is a brown leather in here. I can click and select that. And just by having it selected and, and then go over here and click it, it now puts it in our outliner here. And if you wanted, you can hit M and you can make some adjustments to it. There are some textures baked into it now. And you can always adjust it. I don't think this one, oh yeah, this one's quite visible. So we're going to just keep that at 0.5. Now, I'm going to go back to one. So you can even adjust the rotation, the blending. Um, I think it does a triplanar blending. Uh, so this way it can blend the surface or the texture around. And you can do a bunch of different little things there. You got your standard. You can even change the color up a bit, I believe. Yep, you can add a tint to it there. We can add slight red to it. And there you go. And now you got a new material in there with the corresponding name that it was originally given. So let's go, yeah, we'll go ahead and add, uh, let's see, what would be a good one down here? Uh, we'll just do this bronze oxide. You know, so it's quick and easy to go in here and adjust things here. Uh, you can say, let's do, select all. Now these are just face sheets that I have slightly above the, the landed deck here. And there are some materials here, like this perforated metal, that actually have an opacity. So it has a, has a texture opacity in here. But we have to adjust the texture scale. So we're going to do 0.2. And let's go 0.02. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so kind of hard to tell now, but you can see you can see the holes there and everything. But the it's actually letting the texture below it pass through it. So let's go ahead and change this to I don't know. Let's find some sort of we'll just do aluminum brushed. Okay, so I'm not sure what scale these are coming in at. Uh, my model is only like only probably about 300 millimeters. So I guess I designed it more for 3D printing. So uh, it's probably like one meter or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit M and we'll adjust the scale and we'll do, uh, let's do 0.2, maybe 0.1. Okay. And like I said, you can even change the angle Okay, so that's not it. Maybe the X, maybe. There we go. Now, as you can see, we changed the angle on there. And if you look real closely, you can see the texture is coming through that perforated material that's above it. So you can do a lot of fun little things here. You can, you know, we can even change the color, darken it up a bit. You know, get rid of the metalness. Oh, let's not do that. Let's keep the metalness. Let's just do it by half. Nah, let's just do one. All right, cool. But we're going to also change the roughness. So lots of fun little things you can do there and doll up your, uh, your screen with some uh, really nice little materials. And there's a bunch of them in there. Definitely uh, explore what, uh, what material, what, how the materials look on your model.